Here we have a rather complicated function and we're asked to find an h prime of 2 given all this information. So obviously we need to use quotient rule. Uh, another thing that's not quite as obvious is when you take derivative of the bottom part of which quotient rule requires, um, we need to know what a g of x, f of x, the whole thing taking derivative. Okay, so let's take a minute to find this one first. This is a product rule. So you take derivative of the first one, leave the second one alone, plus derivative of the second one, and leave the first one alone. Okay. Another thing that would be really helpful is if you transfer this into a, um, a block, a table, sort of speaking. Okay. So let's put a of, uh, f over here, f of 2, and then um, f prime of 2. Okay, so this is equal to 1, this is equal to minus 3. Okay. And then g of 2 is equal to 8, g prime of 2 is equal to minus 1. So um, this problem, it's not necessarily hard, it's tedious, and it's, um, there's a lot of bookkeeping you need to keep track. So the more you can keep it clear, the better off you are. So let's double check before we go on. Uh, 1 minus 3, 8 and minus 1, this is all right. Okay, so now let's take a derivative of this complex function. The derivative of a quotient says take derivative of the top, which is 1, leave the bottom one alone, and that's the first one, minus leave the first one alone, and take derivative of the second one. We'll substitute it later, f of x over here. Take that prime. And then g of x, f of x, the whole thing squared on the bottom. Okay. When dealing with this kind of problem, I always tell my students, don't try to substitute everything in there. Because if even if you make a small error, the whole thing would be wrong. What would be a lot more ideal is if you write it one each term out at a time. g2 times f2. Let's go back to our table earlier that we made. g2 is equal to 8 f of 2 is 1, so this is equal to 8. Okay, that term is taken care of. Um, let's see. And then we need uh, x is equal to 2, and then we need uh, g of x, f prime of x, this whole thing prime, evaluate x equal to 2. All right. Now, earlier we said this equal to g prime of 2, f of 2, plus g of 2, f prime of 2. Okay, now let's, using our table earlier, we made it. g prime of 2 is minus 1. f of 2 is 1, plus g of 2, which is 8. And f prime of 2, I have a minus 3 here. Okay, so I have a minus 1, minus 24, which is equal to minus 25. Okay, that pretty much deals with every term I have. Now, going back way up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little error here. I'm, I'm going to evaluate each term from there now, okay? So that equal to 1 times uh, g and f, and I have that one as 8. Okay. And then minus x is 2, and this whole big complicated uh, derivative is minus 25. And then on the bottom, I have 8. All right, that's squared, okay? And then I have 8 plus 50 over 64. So far so good. And this one is 58 over 64. Let's see, I have a 2 going in there. That's 29 on top and 34 on the bottom. And here's your answer. Okay? Hope this helped. Thanks.